Hello and welcome to Crafting with the Desmond Fish Public Library. Today I'm going to show you how to turn a hardback book into a box, which is also sometimes called a book safe because you can store things inside it and then slip it back on your shelf and no one knows there's anything inside. To do this project, you're going to need to find a hardcover book that you can bring yourself to cut up into pieces. So don't choose your favorite and please don't do a library book. You're also going to need some sort of craft knife or box cutter or X-Acto knife. And it works best with a sharp blade. So if you have a new blade, I recommend putting it on. You're gonna use a pen or a pencil to mark the pages. I'm gonna use some clothes pegs to hold pages together. A ruler, always useful to make my edges even. Sandpaper to make it look finished. Glue that I'm going to apply at the end to hold everything together with a brush. And wax paper so I can prevent things sticking together that I do not want to stick together. So once you found a book, the first thing you're going to do is open it up and just go through the first couple pages. It's nice to leave a couple of pages intact. So if someone first opens it up, it still looks like a book. So what I want you to do is choose a page that you think will be nice for the top of your box. I'm going to choose this introductory page. Let me just adjust this. The sun came out. This introductory page because it has a nice border. So I've decided this is going to be my first page. Now, I recommend leaving at least a quarter inch on each size for stability. I'm going to go in a little bit more than that, especially at the top, because as you can see, and on several old books, the pages, even though they start out here, sort of go in and then go out again, and that's common in old books. So I want to be a quarter inch away from the edge, even when I get down to this part. So I'm going to open up to the page I chose. I also really get a kick out of symmetry. So I want to cut even within my border here because I think that will look nice. So I'm going to get my ruler and measure and I can see that an inch in from this edge is also half an inch in from this border. So I'm going to choose to do half an inch in from this border all the way around. So I am going to mark that. And if I mark it in two places, I can then know that connecting those places will create a straight line. And I'm just gonna go all the way around measuring to where I decided to do, which is a half inch in from the decorative border. This first page, I'm going to be a little more careful with and take my time because it is a page that is going to show once this is finished. So I want that to look nice and neat. Measuring up at the top. If you're worried about your ability to make it neat, you can do it in pencil so you can erase later, or you can start on the second page that you won't see at the end and then cut this one after. So I now have a guideline for myself of where I'm gonna cut. So I'm gonna take my knife I'm going to make sure that my hand is not in the way of the blade. I'm going to start at the corner and I'm going to pull it down the line. 
You can freehand it if you would like, or if you have trouble following the straight line with the knife, you can get yourself a ruler or any other straight edge, and you can follow the edge of the ruler. I have two more. Now I find I have easier control pulling down towards me than I do going across. So I am just going to turn my book so that it's in the direction I prefer to cut in. And now my first pages come out. Now I'm using an old encyclopedia, so my paper is pretty thick. If you are using something that doesn't have as thick paper, you'll be able to cut out many more pages at a time. But you can see here is my very beginning. Now, if I like the edges, which I think those work nicely, I don't even have to measure again. I can just take my pen and trace inside where I just cut. And now when I move these pages that I've cut back, I have a new set of guidelines to cut along. These pages, if they start to get into my way, I can clip back. And now I'm going to cut my second batch of pages. I find it works best if you press down hard and pull back at an even speed. Sometimes you'll find the pages already loose from when you cut before. You can just go over the line again. And now I have my second batch of pages out. And then I can see here that I didn't quite cut all the way through. So I can cut again or I can just sort of move back and forth a little and it should tear out pretty neatly. Now that I've sort of already made a guide for the paper to tear along with the knife, this one's going to need a little bit of extra. And there I have more pages. And then I can add them to my section that is clipped out of my way. Like that. And then I am just going to keep going. I'm going to keep going a couple pages at a time until I make my way through to the back of the book. At the back of the book, I'm going to leave some pages, again, for stability. Now this may take you a while. Um, it took me a while to do one, and I have done another one to show you. So I'm going to switch over to that book now. So here's one that I have already cut. If I open it, you can see I have my normal pages I left at the front, and then here is my hole. This one had a nice border too. So you'll see I waited until I went pretty deep in, but I left some pages at the back. Now, once you have cut all your pages, the next thing you should do, because they're gonna be not all exact and the same and they can be a little bit rough. If you have a piece of sandpaper, you can make the edges look really nice and even and smooth just by sanding the inside of your box. 
Now, this is something I recommend that you do outside, sitting on your steps, you know, on your porch, get a little vitamin D, because it makes a lot of like dust from the paper and can get very messy. So I just prefer doing it outside so there's less cleanup. Once you have sanded all of your edges, and if you're having trouble getting down to the bottom, these aren't glued yet, so I can just open it partway through and keep sanding until I've sanded and everything's nice. You might end up with some sort of paper dust in between the pages, but you can just blow out. Or, you know, if you're outside, you can just give it a chance. Oh yeah, there was still dust in there. You can see sort of flying around. This is one of the messier projects. Once my pages are all nice and they're cut and they're sanded and I'm ready to go on the next step, what I need to do is get my white glue and mix it. And I want half water, half glue. And I'm gonna mix that in a container and that is what I'm gonna use to attach all the pages to each other. If you have something called Mod Podge, you can use that. Um, if you don't have something fancy like that or a matte medium, you can just mix plain white glue and water in equal parts. So I am going to go mix up my glue mixture now. Okay, I have mixed up my water and glue solution in a container that I just got from my recycling. I like using something with a lid because it means that I can shake it to help mix it. And it means that I can keep the lid on so it does not dry out. The other thing I have that I'm going to want is water. I have water in this old yogurt container again from my recycling. That way, once my brush has been dipped in glue and I'm using it, if I set it down, I can set it down in the water because I do not want the glue to dry and ruin my paintbrush. Now, before I start painting on glue, I need to make sure that these pages stay loose and do not get glued together. And that's where the wax paper comes into it. And I'm going to wrap this part of the book in wax paper. where my clothes pegs are going to come in very useful again. Now I'm also, as you may notice, if I put this down, the pages start to shift. So I'm also going to support this so that the pages stay nice and together while I glue them. So I'm going to pull my wax paper back out. Just so I have something there. I might use the book too. It will just, it will make my life easier if I'm not worrying about this. If it's taking care of itself. There. So I'm going to give, move this out of my way. I'm going to give my glue and water a little more mixing. And then here I go. Dipping my brush in 
And the nice thing is I don't have to go through and actually glue every single page together. I'm going to brush it on the inside and I'm going to brush it on the outside and it should dry clear and it should seal it. So here it goes. Now I'm getting a fair amount on there because I want it to really get in everywhere so that it all glues together. I'm making sure I get in any cracks I have because I did not do a perfect job when it came to cutting the same shape all the way down or sanding it perfectly smooth. And I am going to go all the way around the inside doing this. Making sure I get all of the pages, making sure I get down to the bottom, and making sure I really get into the corners where there's a lot going on. So I'm going to pause this and I'll come back and I will show you the next step after this. Okay, so now that I've gotten to this point, I have brushed the glue all along the insides of my pages, and I have brushed the glue along the bottom here as well. What I'm going to do next, is I'm going to very carefully remove these. And close the book. And now I'm going to do the outside edges. All the way around until I am done. do my other two edges. Okay, so I have finished brushing the glue along all three sides of my book. I have also brushed glue along the back page here to glue the back of the book to the sheets there. Now, what I need to do now, because you may notice that they're bowing up a little, is to weight it with a heavy object and let it sit for about three hours. And this should give it enough time. It still won't be completely dry, but then you can carefully take it apart and admire it. Um, the weight will help all the pages to actually stick together and it'll help prevent it from being wavy. So I'm gonna put a weight on this and then I am gonna come back and we'll see how mine turns out. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. I'm going to take the items I found that are heavy off of my book. Ooh, piggy banks. Open up. The wax paper will nicely just peel off and you wear glue got on it. And 
And here we go. A box that you can put things in. Made out of a book. Hope you enjoyed watching and we will be back next week with another video.